Hi, hello, how are you all? Again, I came with one more video about process costing. Process costing, one problem we have done in the last video. Now we are doing one more problem along with normal loss and abnormal loss. What are those normal loss and abnormal loss? Uh, whenever you are doing uh, manufacturing the items, okay, if it is liquid, sometimes there are chances to spill out. That means leakage will be there. Sometimes uh, the it may become solid, so weight may increase. So that kind of times you may find some losses or sometimes you may find gain also. It may be natural, it may be abnormal. Both the chances are there. Okay. So if it is abnormal, we call it as abnormal. If it is normal loss, we call it as normal loss okay now uh, we will solve one question on that and we will be doing more questions okay check the question first processes and they have given something new here it is wastage of each process will be sold with a different different kind of amounts that means you are having normal loss here okay and the some of the details are given and actual output also given what is the normal wastage that is also given to you so let us solve this question now Take the screenshot or write down the question past. We'll solve this question. Yeah. Process 1 account and particulars, units, CPU means cost per unit. This is not central processing unit. It is cost per unit. What is the price of each unit and amount? The same thing only even credit side also. Now, first let us take what is the input given in the question. Input. Total 10,000 units they have introduced. Each unit costed 2 rupees. So, total we, they have given us 20,000 rupees of materials or whatever data it is there. Okay. Next to 2 materials. What is the amount of materials? 2,000. There is no cost per units or anything is given. So, take down directly. Then 2 labor amount is 10,000. Here also same thing. 2 direct expenses to direct expenses it is 2500 this is the data given to you directly now let us try down credit side what is the loss occurred in the first process okay by normal loss what is normal loss already we have discussed the same thing only so now what is the amount amount is Total 10,000 units on that 3%. So, how much you will get? Total 300 units you lost. What is the price of each unit? That is 0 0.25. Then what is the total amount? It is 75. Okay. Is that clear? Now, next transaction. Or before that, before normal wastage, we can see actual output is 9,500. That means by the time they completed first process the total output of units was 9500 now check the question total how many units were there total 10000 units are there isn't it in that how many units you lost in normal waste it is 300 now how much should be there it must be 9700 but how much you got it is only 9000 500. Now, where the 200 has gone, where the 200 has gone, that is called as abnormal loss. That is called as abnormal loss. So, let me write down first what is abnormal loss or how much is abnormal loss? By abnormal loss. How much? 200 units. We calculated 200 units. Units. So, how you got? Total 10,000 units. In that, 300 units is loss. And after that, 9,500 is the... 9,500 is the actual production. So, the balance 200 is treated as abnormal loss. Now, how do you find out the amount? How do you find out the amount to find the amount you have to go through a small process let us see what is that one what are the total expenses how much you spent for totally to complete all the process that means do the total of amount column do the total of amount column how much you will get it will be 34000 
500. It will be 34,500. In that, what are the expenses you spent? 75. So, find out what is the balance? 34,500 minus 75. How much you will get? 34,425. This is the amount for how many units? This is the amount for how many units? So this is the amount we, we spent for total 9,700 units. We spent for 9,700 units. If you want more clearly, let us write down uh, total input. I call it as input. How much? 30. 4000 in that we deducted in that we deducted normal loss write down amount uh, total units here it is 10000 and here normal loss is 75 rupees here 300 units and the amount here 34425 this will be 9000 700. Now we should find out what is the cost of each unit. What is the cost of each unit that we have to find out. Let us find out that one. 34,425 divided by 9,700. How much you will get? How much you will get? Or else whatever answer you got. Into, into total how many units are there? 200 units are there. Okay. Into how many units are there? 200 units you have to do. So, 34,425 divided by 9,700 is 3.548. 3.548. Okay. Now, total how many units are there? 200 units into 3.548. How much you will get? It will be? 7 not 9 point something will come 9.79 has come I'll take it as 710 now we understood how you got the amount 710 cost per unit 3.548 okay now let us move on to the next process so by process to account total how many units it's already given in the question 9500 what is the price? 3.548 you can take or else again you can calculate also. Now what is the balance you have? 34,500 minus 75 minus 710. How much you will get? 33.715. So shall I call it 55 instead of 548? 3.55 I am taking. Here also I am taking 3.55. Okay. This is process 1. Please check that. This is process 1 account. Copy it or take the screenshot. Then we can move on to the process 2 account. Now let's prepare process 2 account. From the process 1, how many units were there? Let's take that one. 9,500 units. What is the cost per unit? 3.55. And the amount how much you got? 33,750. Now, what is the amount of materials? What is the amount of materials? It is 3000. Labor, 16,000. And direct expenses, it is 2400. Okay. Normal loss, it's again given in the question itself. On what you are going to calculate that normal loss? It is 5%. You will be calculating it on the opening balance. So that is 9500. 9500 into 5%. How much you will get? It is 475 units and the amount is 0 0.5. Then you will get 238 rupees. Now, let us see the process 3 account. How much we are transferring to the process 3. They have given you in the question, the process 2 we will be completing with 9100 units. Okay, 9,100 units we are supposed to get. But how much we are having now? 9,500 units are there in that normal loss bond with 475. 
total units worth 9500 in that 475 gone with normal loss so now how much should be there only 9025 should be there but you got 9100 so here 75 extra you got 75 extra you got so that will be treated as abnormal gain that will be treated as abnormal abnormal gain to abnormal gain it is 75 how you got that one 9500 minus 475 minus 9100 then you will get 75 minus 75 will come and treated it as positive because i know where i should mention okay here input was how much what is the total input that means total of debit side how much you will get 54575 amount of normal loss what is the amount of normal loss 238 total how many units here 9500 units this is 475 then how much you are getting 9025 and then the amount here is 54337 now what is the price of each unit 54337 divided by 9025 then what is the each unit cost you got 6 rupees 02 paisa then the amount total amount is 75 units into 6 rupees 2 paisa then what is the final amount you got 6 rupees 02 then the final amount is 452 now let's see the total what is the total 55027 and here how many units 9575 is also same 9575 55027 then transfer to process 3 account how much you are transferring 54789 how you got this one total of debit side minus total of credit side then you will get then the amount 6 rupees 2 paisa okay this is process 2 account please copy this then let us start process 2 process 3 account from the process 2 how much you got here 9000 100 units and with the amount of 6.02 then you got total of 54789 and this year materials were for process 3000 labor 13000 and direct expenses 4300 again normal loss how much they have got 9100 into what is the percentage it is 8% then how many units you will get it is 728 units they spent 1 rupee again the amount also 728 at the finishing time how much stock they got by finished stock it is 8100 units so we are supposed to get more but you got very less that means again you got abnormal loss only so how to solve the abnormal loss already we did for two So now follow the same steps and write down the amount. How much you will get? Total two seventy two units, and the amount is eight point six four. Then the total amount two thousand three hundred and fifty one. Then the total eight point six four. And again, here how much you will get? First do the total of debit. How much is the total of debit? It is seventy three thousand eighty nine. Seventy three thousand. 89 when you subtract with the credit side how much you will get 2351 so this is the solution to do please check it out once again check once again process 3 account process 2 account and process 1 account please take the screenshots if you want process 1 process 2 and process 3 